Hi guys, how are you doing today? I hope you're having a fantastic day and um, I hope you guys are, uh, are staying interested in the perfumes you know that you have and you are using in your daily life. Uh, I would like to speak to you about five perfumes, Middle Eastern perfumes again. My love for Middle Eastern perfume hasn't finished guys yet and it's still continuing. So I want to tell you my perfumes. I have one new perfumes guys. I have, I show you. My new perfume is Arosat al Emirat, guys. Arosat al Emirat is my new perfume because, uh, you know, recently I'm just talking about old perfumes that I have and I will still be talking about my old perfumes because, because it's, um, each time, guys, I get a new experiences with them. So that's why, you know, I talk about my old perfumes. But I also have my new perfume. So this is my new perfume, guys. It's Arosat al Emirat. I'm very proud, guys, about this bottle. I was curious about this perfume because of the price level was very affordable and and I wanted, I wanted guys to try this perfume. So that's what I did. And it really surprised me with this beautiful shape of the bottle. Surprised me guys so much. And um, let's say I was wearing it guys like two days, you know, I was wearing it guys for two days. And first day, you know, let me talk about the notes first. So the notes, okay. The, the notes of this perfume is uh, a lot of citrus, citrus. And there is bergamot as well. There is vetiver, there is patchouli, there is iris, there is... Um, Mm, a little bit of oud as well there is uh, what else there is musk and basically those notes guys kind of uh, is a very interesting blend and very unusual blend and yeah. basically um, what surprised me the most guys when I first time sm smell the perfume uh, surprised me the most the, this type of unusual sweetness that it had this type of sweetness that is super duper sharp super duper type of sweet and kind of almost sickening you know in a pleasant way i talk about in a pleasant way that type of blast uh you know when you inhale this type of blast of sickening sweetness which is very pleasant i want to say so i was i thought that guys i will i am i'm going to be happy with this perfume and uh, i thought that it will be versatile it seemed super duper feminine it's not for man guys it's unisex but it's more seemed to be like for women and it seemed to be also perfume that will be powerful enough but in the reality what happened guys so when you spray this perfume uh, it's very pleasant you feel very nice very feminine it's very sweet you know and uh, unusual you know it seems like uh, promising this perfume is promising that's how it feels like but then the, the performance guys was a bit uh, lacking in my opinion it was lacking like maybe in the first one hour or two you know I would sometimes feel this perfume but then let's say you know on my hand like right now after a few hours like you know is <sighs> It's barely, barely there. And also it wasn't projecting as, as well. What most guys disappointed me is that the quality of this bottle, even though it's beautiful, but it was, guys, it was falling off for me. It, it was, as you can see, this type of thing there. It's kind of, I don't know what it is, guys, like, but it's kind of like, like a, peeling off the cap guys fell off the sprayer fell off it's leaking and basically the quality is oh, even though it's beautiful guys but it's super duper you know non-quality perfume you know i mean the, the way it's made although it's beautiful i really like to hold it but the fur, the top part is just broken let me tell you guys if you when you buy this perfume did you have the same experience the sprayer it f falls off all the time and whenever, whenever i take off this hat and plus it's leaking all over you know this plastic everything so mm, that's the experience but I paid very little and I'm still happy I think this perfume is kind of a um, good perfume for well you know Valentine's Day is coming guys so if you want to wear in during your day you know if you want to wear some kind of sweet perfume it's very nice it's very type of feminine perfume mm, you know the longevity wasn't you know wasn't lasting so that's the thing and I want to tell you guys that uh, I definitely guys prefer other perfumes than this other perfumes are probably outperforming you know this perfume i must tell you you know i must tell you uh, and which perfumes are outperforming i must tell you which perfumes guys i must tell you do you know guys this perfume 
uh, Oud for Glory. Do you know this perfume? This perfume, guys, is a quality perfume. It always kind of stays quality. It was quality and stays quality. You know, I show you, you know, the bottle. Look at this, look at this bottle. Oud for Glory, Body, Body Al Oud by Latafa. Latafa perfume. And this perfume, guys, is much more quality than, than this one, than Arasat, you know, Al Amarat. Uh, even though, but even though I'm still happy to have that perfume, I'm, I'm happy to have both perfume but this one will be more quality especially guys it's so suitable for man too but also for ladies but let's say if you are a man go with this one if you are looking at Latafa perfumes guys or Arnold's of perfume just get this one get this one you know you will be happy uh, because you know it's kind of manly looking bottle and plus the smell is very pleasant and very unique you know really guys I recommend you this Badi Al Oud Badi Al Oud I never had Oud for Glory Do you, have you ever had Oud for Glory I never had uh, and I must tell you so what what I was uh, what you know let's say there is this another perfume I show you even though it's Valentine type of week you know and I was wearing yesterday this perfume Kaid by Latafa and this perfume guys seems also more quality than Arosat Al Amarat more quality um, so basically. Uh, I don't reach this perfume very often, I must tell you. But yes, yesterday, you know, I was thinking, let me just kind of take this perfume and make it in my own way, just how I like. So maybe, let's say, in your uh, normal day-to-day -day occasions, to wear incense Middle Eastern perfume maybe would be a bit too much, you know. So I said, let me make it make it the way I want. So what I did was, I sprayed Kaid, guys, two sprays, and I sprayed Choco Mask, you know, on each spray. And then my experience, guys, was pleasant. It was very, very pleasant. Uh, it was lasting. You know, it's interesting. Uh, let me tell you guys that Kaid by Latafa, uh, you know, I, me, for an example, I find it um, quite similar to Badi Al Oud. But if you are choosing a perfume, guys, then, um, you know, uh, maybe go with Badi Al Oud. This is Kaid. So go, guys, with Badi Al Oud because it's more quality perfume, as I told you before. You will feel more pleasant and they are both incense perfumes. It's just this one, guys, is made in a better way, better way and and um, will be more wearable as well. But if you're going to get this one, you will be probably enjoy it too. Uh, I enjoy it, but I only enjoy it like two sprays and plus if I add tiny bit of sweetness, let's say by Choco Mask by El Rehab, you know, so that's how I enjoy. But this perfume, you know, it's not like for every day, guys, because you will be fed up with wearing only incense, incense perfumes, you know. So that's how, what's the story. And then, guys, what else do I have? I have as well Tifal Hoop. So Tifal Hoop, guys, is not a per. I show you guys Tifal Hoop by Latafa. I bought it, guys, purely because of the bottle, you know, the way bottle looked. And uh, I must tell you guys that I... I still haven't figured it out how to like this perfume just because to me it smells a little bit like rotten pears. You know, this type of rosy smell. There is this type of part of Sheikh al Sujuk as well, you know, this type of wood situation that I don't particularly enjoy, enjoy but I think, uh, you know, as one subscriber said to give it uh, you know, uh, more a go, uh, I got the compliments, guys, with Sheikh al Sujuk, by the way. So this one is kind of lighter version and plus there is some rose, uh, like... I don't, I feel like kind of is missing this type of, to me, lightness in it. There is no, not much lightness, only some kind of like a rotten pears, you know, uh, rotten pears with oud, you know, that type of situation. So, but this is just, I talk about, you know, more negatively, but, but let's say if you wear this perfume, you can find beauty, especially maybe to layer it with some kind of something sweet, you know. So I haven't discovered this perfume yet. Uh, I haven't discovered like let's say yet what to appreciate in this perfume but I'm on my way guys I'm on my way to discover some beauty in this perfume that I don't appreciate too much you know that's how I would say guys Tifal Hoop by Ardal Zafran Ardal Zafran and I do know that people you know I guys I do know that people enjoy this perfume so for that reason I don't give up on this perfume you know that's what I would like to say and there is this another perfume it's kind of the same I don't reach for it a lot but I don't give up for, on this perfume because it's beautiful this perfume is beautiful it's opulent oud i do prefer a white version to be honest with you because that one is more wearable more feminine but this one guys it's a bit stronger everybody likes the dry down of, of this perfume
perfume and I do too. I do prefer guys dry down of this particular per perfume, you know. Ooh, cannot open. So basically, oh God, what's wrong with this cap? Now I opened it. So, you know, this type of Middle Eastern vibe, a little bit similar to Sheikh Al Sujuk, but made in a different way. So it seems, let's say, you know, it seems like sharp at the beginning there, you know, and it seems very Middle Eastern type of vibe. But you can find beauty once it's dry down, you know, and maybe, you know, to enjoy that way. If people find it very interesting, this perfume, the dry down, dry down. I think, guys, each perfume is such a character, to be honest. Like, uh, the, each perfume gives, gives you some kind of character that... You know, you cannot say that you don't like, you know, because it's on its own. So depending on how, how you feel, like, let's say this perfume, you know, Middle Eastern type of vibe, this perfume, like, let's say, you know, even though I don't reach it that much, Kaid by Latafa, but let's say I layer it with chocolate mask and I felt very pleasant, guys. I felt like I'm wearing like a quality perfume. And then, guys, body alud, no need to layer with anything. It's like, uh, if you will spray this one, you will immediately feel fantastic, you know, with this perfume. Oops. So basically, no need to layer, guys, this perfume. And then, uh, Tifu Hub, God, like, I don't know what to do with this perfume. It's not like I don't like it, guys, but it's just simply, you know, I need to discover this perfume more. What do you think about Eva Hoop, guys? Do you have any suggestions? Like, have you ever got compliments or what is your suggestion? And then the very beautiful bottle, Arosata Emirat, but also poorly made bottle. Uh, you know, everything is falling. And I think this perfume, the performance is the least that from all of these perfumed the performance, you know, it seems strong at the beginning, but then after it doesn't perform very, very well, you know, but this, that sweetness, guys, you will be very happy. Like, let's say first you smell that sweetness and guys, you will be so surprised. Like you will think that it's an amazing perfume, which will make you happy at first, you know, it will make you happy. Um, just, you know, the longevity will not be as like as great there, but, but still that sweetness will make you happy. And it might be perfume, you know, that you will have no regrets as well. You know, I don't have any regrets with having this perfume, although I see other perfumes are better, you know, that's how I would say. So I will weigh with you guys with this particular perfume. I wonder, should I spray it? Maybe I should, guys. Maybe I should spray myself. So I show you how it is the situation, guys. I'm going to open this perfume. Everything is leaking now. The, everything is dripping, falling apart. Like, as you can see, everything is falling apart. It's some kind of situation. I don't know why it's going on like that. And then the sprayer, you know, it's leaking. And the sprayer, it falls off. As you can see, you know, it falls off. But now, no matter what, guys, I still need to spray. And as I spray, it's leaking. So I'm going to spray more because I know, guys, that this particular perfume. Oh, guys. Better not to spray, you know, in the closed environment. I don't normally do that, but because I do videos, so I do that. Guys, I wish you to have a beautiful, fantastic day. Prepare yourself for Valentine's Day. Choose the perfumes, you know, appropriate for Valentine's Day. Something that will be make you feel very cozy and pleasant. And guys, I will weigh with you. Weigh with you with this perfume. And let me know what you think about this perfume. Have you ever had it? Have you ever sprayed it? Or are you thinking to buy it? I know that, guys, some of the people already bought this perfume. And uh, let me know what's your experience with that. I'll be back to you soon. And I hope you're going to have a fantastic day. See you soon. Bye-bye, guys.